Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. And get in that car. Good morning, everybody. It is day three or four. I can't remember. But anyway, we are uh, waking up some boys. Caroline has gotten Levi dressed and Judah partially dressed. I got his shirt on him, so we're trying to wake him up so we can go to eat breakfast at the Blueberry Grill. What's after that? After that is we're going to hit the outlets. Because some of us are slightly pink from yesterday's sun exposure. So we're going to give a little, few hours to let it continue to. And I'm not one of those. I did get pink though. Yeah. All right, boys. Let's go get some breakfast. Ready, Levi? Levi, help me get him up. Help me get him up. Help me get him up. Okay, guys. We heard the fire trucks last night. But something obvious. We were here last night. Something obviously big went down here last night. At Barefoot Landing, there's fire trucks that's roped off with police activity. There's news crews here like crazy. So, we don't know what happened. I'll see if I can get a better view. Yeah, we'll see if we can get a closer look. But, um, if you guys know what happened, how about leaving it in the comments? All right, everybody. I stopped and asked the uh, security guard here. It was uh, one of the retail stores. It's not a cooking store. Or it's not a restaurant, so that is kind of odd within itself. You see there's one, two, three, four fire trucks. I don't know if you can see them all. News media over there doing some interviews and stuff like that. So, uh, kind of unique situation that a retail store would just go up in flames. Makes you wonder if it's electrical. So Bryant got a skillet. It has eggs, fried green tomatoes, ham, bacon, all kinds of good stuff. Jamie got the French Toast Blast. Caroline also got the same thing, the French Toast Blast. I got the Waffle Blast and some pork belly that was absolutely delicious. Yes, it was. And the boys shared blueberry pancakes and sausage and fruit. And it was absolutely amazing. Bryant had hollandaise sauce on his skillet as well. Okay, everyone. So we're getting ready to go to the outlets to do a little shopping. That's an annual thing we do. But I thought I'd come on and tell you what we thought of the restaurant. The food was absolutely amazing. It was absolutely delicious. But price-wise, it was probably a little too high for our blood. I mean, we paid it, of course. But um, is it somewhere I have to go again? No. In fact, if the kids are set on going, we'll let them go over there and I'll go to, I'll go to Cracker Barrel. Um, but the food was delicious. I cannot say anything bad about the food. It was amazing. Um, so... Where? Breakfast for me and you was how much? $55 yeah, for, breakfast. for two people. So that was a little much for, and we usually, like last night, we ate out at a nice restaurant. We try to do, you know, a few nice restaurants, but then try to keep the rest of the week inexpensive. And so that's not one I need to go back to, although the food was, was amazing. Good. It was, good. It was, was really good. good. Okay, guys, we will see you at the outlets. So what did you have? Oh, I had, um, it was called a 
waffle blast and it had the strawberries it had bananas it had the most amazing whipped cream and then a like a vanilla sauce on it and then it came with maple syrup it was so good and i had pork belly tell them why you did the voiceover i did the voiceover because they had music going in the background and that always gets me a copyright strike so i just muted the the sound at the restaurant and did a voiceover for you guys all right, well, we will see you guys at the outlet. All right, here we are. Where we at, sweetie? We're shopping at Tanger Outlet. All right, many of you people are familiar with this place. If you go to Myrtle Beach, North Myrtle Beach Tanger Outlets. We may hit the 501 outlets later this week, right, sweetie? Yep. I think there's a few more places over there that's not here. And so uh, we'll see you guys shortly. Okay, y'all, Bryant has been suffering with his knee. It's been hurting him for several days, actually weeks and um so we have stopped this lady right here what's your name ruby jamski ruby says she can give him relief in 35 seconds so we're gonna see does it work there is no um th what's the no cbd cbd, CBD no none of that so it it's australian eucalyptus grape seed aloe vera jojoba and vitamin e it's all natural no chemicals no side effects all Watch right this. Oh, here we go Rub it on once in the morning, once at night for 10 days, guys. I'm not kidding. It's a vasodilator and an anti-inflammatory. So it relaxes the muscles and tendons and allows the blood to circulate. How it's also going to help out with the sunburn, too. How many sprays did you I do? I put about four to six sprays twice a day for 10 days after that as needed. Have about 10 steps, you come back and you start feeling the relief instantly. Up to 25 to 50%, if not more. Okay, what's the outcome? Hang believe, on, let me get this way because I can see you better. Believe it or not, it really helped that fast. That fast? Yeah, I mean, I still got just a dash of pain, but it's nothing like what I had before she put it on me. I mean, he just said in the other store he was really hurting and was contemplating going home and going to bed a, a day on vacation. So. Right, so we're gonna drop her tag here real quick. Let's ask her where she can be found at. You can catch me at www.rubiesoriginaleucalief.com or you can call my personal number, which is on the back of the bottle, 336-964-0617. Again, that's Ruby's Original Eucalyp, guys. There's a lot of imitations, but there's no duplications on our product. And this is no paid advertisement. We no, just stopped by No, we this. just stopped by. I guess she noticed that you limped. No. I rub everybody. I'm, if you've got any aches or pains, guys, come on over and try it. It's free to try. So, all right, guys. I will link all of her information down in the description below. But um, are, are you a sold believer? I'm a believer. We just stopped for a treat. Vacation is the time we splurge when it comes to food. And so we have any ends, salted pretzel. With what? With mustard. Who else puts mustard on their pretzel? Let us know in the comments. Is that low carb? No, no. Oh, no. 
this week is who cares carbs this yeah who cares about carbs this week we're gonna hit the ground running when we get back on monday tonight is crab legs for caroline's birthday and so we got to make a quick pit stop we've just left the outlets bought a few things there now we're heading to wall buckets to pick up a few items for the crab bowl okay everybody we are set got some hamburger buns one night we're gonna have tuna burgers that's for not, not tonight but also i love me some cherries so this will be my one and only bag of cherries this week we're gonna make our garlic shrimp and we always have this with garlic shrimp black pepper garlic shrimp um salad stuff for tonight shrimp for our black pepper shrimp shrimp for Bryant just to eat drinks dressing all we're missing is the crab legs that's where we're heading now all right we're here at Platt seafood to pick up the crab legs let's uh let's head on in Bryant's headed in let's see what they have to offer there we go look at that shrimp They have frog legs. Red snapper. Look at the full. I don't know what that is. But look at these crab legs. This is what we're here for. Oh me. Super excited. All right, here we go, getting ready to head back. Got three three pounds of uh, snow crab legs, the premium crab legs. They didn't have any king, which is fine with me because these clusters here are pretty They're pretty beautiful. Size. So we're going to yep. head back and start supper. I walked out of the seafood market and I made a statement and Bryant was like, me too. What was the statement I made? Well, we didn't bring any fishing gear. And it's first time in, I think, forever. And I walked out and I said, this makes me want to go fishing. And Leslie says, me no, too. I said it and you said me too. <laughs> One of us said something. You don't even remember. Anyway, but I did. I came out and I was like, this makes me want to go fishing. The, the little place we just come to is up north of North Myrtle. This is in Cherry Grove. Cherry Grove, that's right. And there's a pier here that people like to fish on. And, um... This guy was in there talking about how he was getting some more stuff because he had done good fishing and so he was getting some more bait and stuff. They also, all that fish you saw, you can purchase it and they'll cook it there in there for you. Now we're taking this back to the room to cook for Caroline. Um, so anyway, this was fun. You think it was fun? It was good. It was good. Okay, we'll see you back at the hotel or condo. Here's our final stop before supper. It's about 4.30, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Down by the pool. Levi. There's Bubbles just chilling out. Say hey, Bubbles. In the shade. Jamie and Caroline way over there. And behind that young lady, there's Caroline. Jamie behind her. Let me see if I can find Jiva. He's at the rope. There he is. There's Judah right there coming under the rope. Got his floaties on. Those floaties, those paddle jumpers, they are amazing. I say they think they need to make them for adults. Leslie says they need them for adults, but they are phenomenal. If you don't have any, I mean, if you don't, if you got kids and you don't have those things, they are a necessity. See Levi over there? He's got a set on. They keep, they keep the moat. They, they float them with no problem. And uh, it helps remove any fear of water from those kids. I mean, it's just like, uh, it's great. It's a blessing. So, all right, guys, we'll bring you back at supper here in a second. Come here, Judah. Here we go. It's dinner time. Crab legs night for Caroline's birthday, even though it was June 16th. Here what we got. We got about two and three quarter pound of crab legs, which for these size, that equals about four claws, which will be a gracious plenty for us. I've already got my water on. What I do is I put the crab legs in there, fill it up and get the water level right, correct, then take the crab legs out, bring it to a bowl, okay? 
I just put them in there first so I can get the water depth correct. You don't want to have too much water, too much water, and you don't want to have too less water. Okay, so I put them in there first, fill it up with water, get it where I need it, put it on the stove. It is on high to get it boiling. Once I get it boiling, uh, I'll show you what I put in there. A little Zatarain seasoning. Okay, right here it goes. Let me show you this right here. Zatarain crab boil. I'll probably use about half of that and I'll put some uh, I don't know where my bride put it right here. It is Obey you can't have crabs without uh, crab legs without obey. So here we go. Hang tight Here we go Like I said, we used about half the container right there of that because uh, read the back it gives you the directions Okay, and I'm gonna use about two tablespoons of Old Bay right there. These are going to be phenomenal. Show them what it looks like in there. So, mm -hmm. looking good. Here we go. Hang tight. All right. You have seen me do this many times before. Um, and I normally do it in the oven. I'm still going to do it in the oven. But they don't have a Pyrex dish here. So, thank goodness I brought my skillet. From home. From home. And so, we're going to do it. On the stove top, and then I'll stick it in the oven to finish it off. What you got, Mom? Um, we have two pounds of shrimp in here. I put a stick and a half of butter. I may add more butter. What kind of shrimp? Um, peel, devein, tail off, large. Correct. Say All it right. one more time. Peel, deveined, peeled, devein, tail off, large. She struggled with that. I Can y'all tell? I did. All right, and I'm putting about three hefty tablespoons of garlic. Hefty, hefty, hefty. And we're just gonna kind of stir this around to get it good and started. This is a real garlicky and black peppery dish. So I'm just gonna get this butter melted to start with. Now, I'm gonna pepper it really good. And then when I think I've got it too peppery, I'm what are you gonna, gonna add some more. Gonna pepper some more. Here we go. Pepper, pepper, pepper. And I might sneeze, so you'll have to forgive me if I do. Look at all that pepper. It is called black pepper shrimp. Believe it or not, once you stir that garlic butter up on there, it, it there it, is no spice. I mean, it just yeah. gives it flavor. This right here will make your tongue smack your brain. Mm -hmm. So good. All pepper. right. Pepper it again. Now we're going to pepper it some more. That's the last time, right? Yep. All right. And I'm just, just kind of got it started. So now I'm going to stick it in the oven and let it get it out of my way and let it cook while we're waiting for this to come to a boil and while I make salad and get the bread tasted. What's your temperature on your shrimp, black pepper shrimp? 350. 350. 350. And I don't know how long, just... Um, Usually about 20 minutes. I like my shrimp. I'm one of those weird people that likes my shrimp really done. So I leave mine a little extra. So how you just, until it turns pink, yep. it loses that clear look to it and it turns pink. All right. Wish you had smell-o-vision, because let me tell you what. There they are. Slow light bowl. Crab legs are looking good. Garlic shrimp. Whoa! Got you all cloudy there. He's doing looking good. How's it looking, Mom? Looking good. All right. Dinner time in five minutes. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to come out of here with these beautiful things. Look at there. That's a lamb. I rinsed and washed this cookie sheet off. We're just going to put them right back on there. Oh my word. My mouth's already watering. This girl loves her some crab legs. Look at there. Look at there. It smells so, I believe that was the last. There they are. Tell me. Mm -hmm. This is the shrimp. You open it, you open it. 
Looks so good. You want me to open it? This, this okay. I did. I did. Okay. Go sit down at your seat. Dinner was so delicious that we didn't even get a chance to film during dinner. How was your crab legs, Judah? Huh? It was very good. It was what? Good. Very good. All right, Miss Caroline, what do you think? They were so good. They they broke good. They were easy to get the meat out. And how, how was the black pepper shrimp? Delicious. Okay. Of course. And the salad. I mean, it was like killer. It was great. So, anyway, how was yours, Mom? Wonderful. Right. So good. I can eat my weight in crab legs. She says she can eat her weight in crab legs. So. All right, that is a wrap for supper. Got one more thing we're going to do. Judah, where are we going tonight? Um, I think we're going to a Arcade. Going where? To Say it louder. To the Arcade. To the Arcade. arcade. And I think Caroline is going to try to go get some Krispy Kremes again. One attempt. All right, let's see how Number it goes. Good morning, everybody. Yes, I did it again. Forgot to say good night. But listen, we had donuts. Yes, and I had more than one. I won't divulge how many I had. <laughs> That's not mine from this morning. <laughs> um, but I did have more than one. Um, but anyway, what I really forgot to do was to get Bryant to give an update on his stuff he bought yesterday so let's talk to him a minute and see you know how did it work is he a believer he did buy it he did buy it so we're gonna see how long it lasted and so forth so hang tight okay Bryant so what is your take on the stuff you bought at the outlets well it it is so out of character for me to purchase gimmicky stuff. Gimmicky stuff. It's so out of character. Um, but the challenge was my knee has been hurting a lot lately. And when she offered the free sample and I sat down and she put it on my knee and I walked and I come back, it, it really felt instantaneously um, some pain relief. Now, was the pain totally gone? No. Um, because it, there's something going on with my knee, my joints or muscles or something like that. Now, there, were, there, were one, there was one thing that changed yesterday. I wore quality tennis shoes all day long yesterday. So that could be a contributory factor of my knee feeling better. But I will say, for the majority of the day yesterday, my knee was better after I put the, uh, the uh, oil or eucalyptus treatment, whatever you want to call it, on my leg. So I'm not telling you by any means to rush out and buy this. It's the be-all, end-all solution for your life. But I would say if you do have chronic pain, it wouldn't uh, hurt you to try it and see if you did like it. Um, it was, I think, $40 for one bottle. Um, and it's a small bottle. It's two ounces. It's a small but you, bottle. it only takes a spray or two. Yeah, take, I think the direction's five sprays. That bottle will last you two months um, if you have chronic pain and you use it every day probably. So, hey, I've already got up put it on my knee this morning um, uh, because when I got up it was stiff and put it on my knee and believe it or not, it's actually feeling a little better. So, um, like I said, I'm not telling you to go out and buy it. I'm not representing it by any means. I'm not saying it's the cure-all, be-all, but for a little bit of pain relief for me, it has worked a couple of times that I used it. So, don't know how. But it did so, and and you could tell by his expression that the relief was pretty much instant, mm -hmm. and and it did wear off. Yeah, it does. So it's like it. it's just a symptom reliever, not the it's not going to fix what's actually wrong with your joint or whatever. It's just a symptom reliever. So there you go. You have it. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed day number four of our vacation. So uh, Miss Leslie's coming back to say goodbye, Blaze. Okay, and like he said, this is not sponsored in any way. We were just walking down the middle of 
um, the outlet. I think she sensed he was in pain because he was limping. And um, she said, here, come here. I can I can fix that for you. And um, he he was, he didn't do it at first. He walked on past her. And he goes, wonder if that would help my knee. I said, well, try it. I mean, it's not going to hurt anything. We did make sure there was nothing in it that, you know, no dr drugs in it or whatever. So, um, yeah. A anyway, it was, it was his, his face said it all. I could tell just because I know him so well, but, um, yeah, so we, we did buy two bottles and, um, he rubbed some on my neck last night cause I always have some neck stiffness and pain and it did relieve my neck for a while. So yeah, I don't know how it works, but, uh, it, there is some anti-inflammatory, um, properties in the, in the, you know, solution or the, um, what do they call it? You know, the, what do you call it? When you put stuff together <laughs> equation or anyway. So, all right, well, we're going to go for now. We will start whatever day we're on. Um, right now, as soon as I end this video, we'll start the next day. So y'all, thank you for joining us. Have a great day. Remember if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye y'all.